Uh, I just want you all to know Titan's actually 6'4". You, you just don't know because he's sitting down. But he's quite a big guy. He's 6'9 he, when he stands on his money. That's crazy. That money from Arcadian also got him through a lot. But hey, yeah. Corrin can. Hey, man, this is the type of set you don't definitely wake up on a Wednesday night and be like, oh, shit. Well, we, we got this going on. So Titan very good at being, playing the patient game. He got his confirms yeah. down. How is he going to differ with a character like Corrin, which is like practically a ranged killer? I like, think I so I want to talk about this a little bit because if you follow the Japanese scene and compare it to the like the rest of the world, Japan has a decidedly more defensive playstyle overall. Their meta is centered around more defensive characters. There's a lot more of them. And so being patient is something that, you know, a player like Neo is very used to playing around. What's really going to be the difference to me is how he interprets these uh, these habits and how quickly he can actually adapt to it and kind of like play that rock paper scissors game uh, at a faster pace. Because it's funny, uh, while the game looks slower, the like the pace of the game gets faster. I don't know how I can explain that any better. You know what I mean by that? I, I hear you. Yeah. Also, I, I just found out from chat. This is actually today is actually Nao's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Nao! So can we please get a happy birthday, Nao, in the yeah. chat, please? Yeah. Like, hey, man. Oh hey, yeah, happy, happy birthday to me is his tag. Hold on. Hey, We're commentators. We observe things. I'm a little self-aware. A, a little. little. A little. Okay, not, the kick. Not, not gonna much. kill. Good pin out of the corner, and that's one of those conversions I was talking about. The insane follow, just the wherewithal to actually be at that time, at that space ahead of time. Given how far he was away, he had not a lot of uh, room there to actually execute on that movement. Yeah, and that's one of the things that really separates some of the top players is that ambiguity of movement. It's a, it's like a concept that. Iken taught to me actually about uh, about how these top players really make it difficult for uh, not just the moves that they do, but when they do them. There's a lot of dimensions to how they mix up the timings. And Nao so far has gotten a little bit of an edge on Titan, and it's turning into a big one. Going to force the focus attack down, and yeah, that's the kind of trap that you expect here. Oh my God, what a pin! Taking the stock, Nao now up three stocks to one, high percent still, but Titan playing the Ken Masters does have the capability of making something special happen, but on the other side, Nao trying to shut that down real quick. Exceptional play from Nao, uh -huh. but there's Titan finally getting a true Shoryu, finally putting away his stock here. How is he gonna deal with the rest of this game? I mean, a lot of times players that, you know, face off a top talent like Nao, they uh, like to take game one as kind of like a knowledge check. What do I need to know about my opponent to yeah. counteract their type of play style? Yeah. And you know, you want to take game one, because taking game one is huge, especially in a best of three scenario. But if you're down by a lot, you're not definitely out of the set. You can still make it back, which is why we have counters. Yeah. So, I mean, immediately you can see one of the biggest issues with Titan's approach to this matchup is that he hasn't really found a way to land uh, safely yet. Neo has been so on top of catching the landings, he's taken so much extra punishment from just up airs. Yeah. And it really has racked up in this, in, into this scenario where he could maybe die again. He has to FADC away from the ledge, and I think that's, you know, obviously the smart play because if he FADCs towards uh, Neo and tries to contest, he's going to die. And uh, up throw starts killing at some point, but I'm not sure when. Or just down throw. I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't recall. One of these throws kills relatively soon. Not quite there at 155, but just so much advantage state here for Neo. Titan hasn't really had an opportunity to execute on the game plan, and that's going to take game one. Really explosive start there after a decidedly slow kind of feel out neutral in the first stock from Neo and Titan. But yeah, like, like I said, the, stock, the stocks went flying. Yeah, and you know, Titan put up a little bit of a fight here. Let's see where he takes uh, Neo on his counter pick. I know a lot of y'all like to run it back, but let, let's be honest. When are you ever going to get the knowledge necessary to fight a good player like yeah. Neo? A good player like anyone you're going to get in bracket. If you just want to run it back because you're just like, no, 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 no. I'm just a better player. I want to, you know, I want to remind you that I can still win. Here, so, in my head, I'm thinking if Triplats are banned, then I go Smash. I would want to go Smashville or FD. What do you What do you think? For Ken? Yeah, it depends. It really depends on what's banned. Like, it's really hard to predict what really gets banned in a lot of these matchups. Um, yeah, I, I don't have enough knowledge to really I, say. I, I'd probably assume Battlefield got banned. I don't know if Town got banned. If anything, maybe Hollow. 
Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming this counter pick is either Smashville or Small Battle. Three, two, Let's find out. One. Yeah, we're gonna get this game two. Nope, oh, they're he just wants gonna to run, run it back. back. Wow, what a surprise. Welcome to NorCal. Well, you know, it doesn't hurt to run it back. I yeah, I don't really think that the stage made that much of a difference here. A lot of a lot of the damage was on uh, Neo catching Titan landings, and I guess less platforms would make that harder. So that would lead me to guess that Battlefield was stuff was what was banned. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, speculation is speculation. We're back into the game though. We're implementing these things one by one here. Oh my God, that was just absolute chaos from Neo, he caused all that, and Titan just could not respond in kind. And you see, like, he's he's basically he's basically using focus attack to land every time. He's not really, he doesn't really have that many options aside from that. He can't really swing out of disadvantage. He can use the jump. He's, he's, he's opting to use the focus attack in lieu of an extra jump, right? To see yeah. if Titan's actually going to, or Neo's going to chase him. And most of the time he has been, you know, because because why not? He's got this advantage, might as well push him. So it's really just difficult for Titan to have to guess kind of how to land, and he's still having that issue. It just looks so difficult. This is yeah. This is quite some patience because you're seeing these focus attacks, not even phasing Nail even one bit because he just knows when to execute a landing hit to make the kill happen. So good on Titan for trying to stay on his feet, but Nao is just all over it. Yeah, it's really just a matter of how much Nao is actually getting off of his neutral wins. And he's just converting it. It looks like he's overwhelming him, but really he's only winning one or two oh. times. Never mind, he's actually destroying him. Wait, that's just a confirm, and you're just dead. Who right. thinks about that? Nao does. Nao is, he, he's, that, that is definitely something that Titan will be like, all right, you know, 